Very smart move from General Motors. General Motors EV sales this year have gone, well, ballistic in the United States. Massive credit to them. And getting these models out to market has been great. But now General Motors are going to be making cheaper EVs, going to be probably able to reduce the prices by up to 20% of their other cars, or maybe keep the prices the same and actually try not to make a loss on them. But the reason for this change is new batteries. General Motors will be making electric cars from 2027, so really not that far away from now, less than a year and a half, less than 18 months from now, with a new battery type. And this will provide massive savings. This will be, a, a, I think, a really a legitimate game changer for the company. Here are the details. Hello, my friends. Thanks for your support this year. I really appreciate it and want to say thank you to everyone who has liked and subscribed. It's um, really helped the channel and has helped electrification. Last month, General Motors announced Fairfax Assembly would begin building the redesigned Chevy Bolt by the end of the year. Now, we knew that was expected, but the company also teased future investments for their next generation of affordable EVs. Affordable EVs. Uh, I think EVs are, well, with the tax incentives in the US, they're already affordable, a lot of them, but those incentives are going. So affordability is going to be a challenge. GM, though, is doubling down on an affordable electric vehicles as their Ultium sales plant in Spring Hill, Tennessee, is going to be upgraded to produce a new production line for low-cost lithium-ion phosphate batteries, LFP. Work will begin later this year, and production is scheduled to start in late 2027. Now, it's interesting with lithium-ion phosphate because lithium-ion phosphate batteries were actually invented by two Americans and a Canadian, yeah? And the US was like, oh, yeah, we don't care about batteries. EVs, uh, who cares? They actually just sort of let that invention go. The Chinese saw it and went, oh, that's awesome. We're going to use that. Patented this invention and no one could use the, this battery patent. No one could make lithium-ion phosphate batteries until about, I think, two years ago, 18 months ago when the patent expired, which is wild. Anyhow, General Motors aren't saying a whole lot. They're targeting significant battery pack cost savings by embracing lithium-ion phosphate batteries. Who's going to actually bring this tech in for General Motors? Is it GM's in-house LFP tech? Well, I'll get to that in just a second. GM noted the move increases consumer choice as the company will continue to offer batteries with NCM chemistry or NCMA, nickel, cobalt, manganese, aluminum chemistry. So GM's Ultium batteries are not too bad. They have improved them, and I don't think they've talked about that. General Motors haven't really mentioned the fact that their batteries have higher energy density than they used to. So that's nice, but that's true. GM's Vice President of Batteries Propulsion and Sustainability said, this upgrade at Spring Hill will enable us to scale production of lower cost lithium ion phosphate battery cell technologies in the US, complementing our high nickel and future lithium manganese rich solutions and further diversifying our growing EV portfolio. What does this mean? It means General Motors have th will have three different battery chemistries in the US from 2027. Well, they say they will anyway. Of course, their existing NCMA batteries, really nickel, cobalt, manganese batteries. But they're also going to have a, a battery, an NCM battery that has a lot of manganese. Yeah, very, very highly doped cathodes with manganese. That will be their highest energy density battery longest range battery packs here yeah? around they should provide around 10 to 20 percent more energy density that's what general motors are saying three different batteries right and then they've got the lithium-ion phosphate battery however which vehicles will come with lithium-ion phosphate batteries will they be cadillac vehicles probably not i'm going to guess it'll be the chevy equinox maybe a base version of the blazer could be a base model version of the Silverado. Obviously, lithium-ion phosphate batteries have lower energy density, but they're cheaper to produce and generally you get more life cycles out of them. So, GM is excited about LFP batteries. President Mark Roos, Roos focused on their recently announced, though, lithium-manganese-rich LMR batteries, which Tesla has been working on as well. He said construction at the Anker Johnson Battery Cell Development Center in Michigan hit a milestone last month when the final steel beam was hoisted into place. 
once the facility opens, its first task is to advance LML batteries into production before anyone else. And he said the center will help reduce development times for new batteries by as much as a year. So big focus is lithium metal batteries, um, lithium manganese rich batteries. So <clears throat> General Motors, why are they not focusing um, on getting excited about lithium on phosphate? Which they're clearly not. They're obviously much more focused about their lithium manganese batteries. We've got to be first to get those to market, et cetera, et cetera. Well, I think the reason that they're not overly excited is because I believe from what I've heard that these batteries are lithium ion phosphate batteries that will be made under license from CATL, a Chinese, well, the biggest battery company in the world. They have around 35% market share of the entire global battery industry. So what will happen is CATL will actually set up a production line in General Motors factory. General Motors will learn, basically have staff learn from CATL how to operate this production line. Then the CATL, the Chinese staff will go back to China and the production will be set up in General Motors factory. Then General Motors will pay, pay probably five or 10% for the batteries for every battery they produce. They'll pay like a royalty fee to CATL. That's I believe what is gonna happen. Now I can't 100% confirm that, but that's what's been mentioned by a number of different people. So GM doesn't want to talk too much about the lithium ion phosphate batteries because they're not GMs, right? GM's like, well, yeah, they're good, but they're not ours. Let's focus on what we're doing, which is their lithium manganese rich batteries. But while that sounds negative, I don't think what GM's doing is negative. I think it's a good choice to use lithium ion phosphate. And, you know, they're already doing pretty well. GM's electric vehicle sales more than doubled in the second quarter this year, led by the Chevy Equinox EV, which has done really well. The company sold nearly 46,300 EVs in Q2, which was 11% growth from last year. Chevy is currently the fastest growing EV brand in the US. Cadillac says that they have already achieved EV leader status in the luxury segment this year. Um, GMC are doing really well with the Sierra EV and the Hummer EV sales are going as well too. So what this means is with new lower cost batteries on the way, GM will continue narrowing the gap with Tesla, at least they say. Though General Motors did say that they'd beat Tesla in 2025 with EV sales. But anyway, GM offer 13 electric cars. That's a lot of choice, right? And they're going to have some cheaper models on the market. So this is a really a win-win for American consumers, for General Motors as well. And I'm, I'm excited to see this happen. Guys, what are your thoughts? Do you agree or disagree with what I've, what I've said here? Let me know in the comments. Bye-bye.